adding fractions with unlike denominators. Let's look at two examples. We will start with the problem 3 eighths plus 1 fourth. When writing this problem on paper, I like to write the numbers under each other. Remember, when we say 3 eighths of a whole and 1 fourth of a whole, those holes, in this case squares, have to be the same size. By looking at the tile pieces, we can see that 1 eighth is half the size of 1 fourth. But to add fractions, we must be working with the same sized pieces. Therefore, we need to get common denominators. When looking for a common denominator, we usually check to see if one denominator is a factor of the other. In this case, it is. 4 times 2 is 8. So we will multiply 1 fourth by 2 over 2, letting us rewrite 1 fourth with the equivalent fraction 2 eighths. Now that the fractions have the same denominator, we can add the fractions, giving us the answer 5 eighths. Okay, that problem was pretty straightforward. In our next example, we will be working with mixed numbers and using a different way to get a common denominator. Our second problem will be 2 and 5 sixths plus 1 and 2 ninths. Again, we can see that we are not working with the same sized pieces, but in this case, neither denominator is a factor of the other. So, we are going to need to find a number that both denominators can divide into. We can do this by listing the multiples of 6 and 9. We will start by writing the multiples of 6. 6, 12, 18. We can stop the list here, since 18 is also a multiple of 9. In this case, 18 is the least, or smallest, common multiple. This is often referred to as the LCM. Clearly, this is not the only possible common denominator. There are others, such as 36 and 54, but using these will only lead to having to simplify the answer later. Therefore, we will use 18 as our denominator for both fractions. 6 times 3 is 18, so we will multiply 5 sixths by 3 over 3, getting 15 eighteenths. And 9 times 2 is 18, so we will multiply 2 ninths by 2 over 2, getting 4 eighteenths. When we add those together, we get 3 and 19 eighteenths. We can think of this as 3 plus 19 eighteenths. Since 19 eighteenths is larger than 1, we can write it as the mixed number 1 and 1 18th, and then add that to the 3, leaving us with 4 and 1 18th. If you need any more help with fractions, head over to frontporchmath.com. There you will find videos, written explanations, and review sheets.